If you want to know how to make an award win system, so if you touch a part and you win the game, you'll get an exclusive name tag, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. <laughs> Well hello there and welcome back to this Pogger video. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make an awardment system. So like if you like finish the game you'll get a special like name tag with like, uh, like like winner or something like that. I do not know. We're going to be making a database with it so um, if you leave and you know, rejoin you'll still have it. Because that is very Pogger. Um, First of all, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe, else you are not an epic gamer, and if you want to become an epic gamer, you have to do the things I just told you to, and if you forgot those, then please watch the video again. If you want to become a member, just click the blue join button down below, but subscribing is already supporting me really, really much, and this is another corner if you're cute, okay, anyways, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting off by a server, well, no, okay, first of all, Click this game settings at the top, then go to security and enable studio access to APS services, which means that so it already says enable studio access to game services such as data stores, so you can save things. Just click save and boop, and you should be good to go. Now I'm going to be making a little name tag, so I'm going to be inserting a billboard GUI, max distance 25. I'm going to insert a text label with it, and I do not, oh there it is, you see that? And once you're near enough, it's going to become smaller, you get the point. Then I'm going to go studs offset, 0, 2, 0, so it's above your head. Oh, I think that's all, that, that's all. I'm going to do background transparency 1, I'm going to make it Gotham Black, along with a text scaled, I'm going to do winner. It's because we won the game. So we can do yellow. Yes. Now you can uh, get the billboard GUI inside of server storage. Make a folder. Call it, uh, just, just name it like, like name tags. And put it right in there. I'm going to do the winner's GUI. Just like this. So if you did this, you're very good. Thank you. Now go to server script service, and this is going to be the long script. It's going to be probably like 100 lines, but don't worry, we've got enough time. Uh, so, we want of course to be starting off by epic pogger things. So, we're going to be starting off by saying, local data store service is equals to game colon get service uh, data store service. Then immediately we're going to type local uh, data store. Well, we can do data, uh, local, local data, uh, local keep data. Uh, it's going to be DSS colon get data store, not ordered, but data store. And just do whatever you want. I'm, of course, going to do newbie tutorial because my name is newbie. We can do game dot players dot player added colon connect function player. And um, what this is, the script will only run if there's a player in game or if the player just joined. We can do a local um, has 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 one has one value. Why not? It's equals to instance dot new bool value into the player. I'm not going to be making leader stats because that will be pretty messed up. We can immediately do has one value dot name is equals to has one value. And has one value dot value is equals to false because you did not win yet if you just joined the game. Uh, that's good. We can do local data and keep it blank because local data is going to be set to something if they only won the game. And we can do local success, comma error message is equals to pcal function. And what PCAL does is, if it breaks, it's not going to break the entire game, but only the script. It's like a, a quick detection, why not? Um, we can do data is equals to keep data, colon get async, 
player the user id we're going to set this on the player's user id don't worry this is not private information or something it is if you go to roblox if you go to your roblox profile at the top you're going to see your uh, id it's got like a bunch of 10 numbers or something then if we're going to finish off the script by dot dot and then minus uh let's see what way yeah we're just going to do has one value so we're going to set it to this key mm-hmm that should be good um so this is get async so if they join the game we can do oh uh, let me think now we can do if success then uh data well, no 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 has one value that value is equal to data so like this is going to be a true or false but the script will recognize so don't worry don't don't do like true or false no just keep it like this and else uh, we can do um warn error message it's gonna be a warning or game like hey newbie your game has a bug okay, anyways we can do over here if has one well i'm just gonna do wait dot one in case the, the script breaks or something um, if has one dot value is equals equals to, uh, if has one value dot value is equals equals to true then so if you did actually win we're now going to be setting this into your player and over here we're just going to make an else warn error message again oh uh, wait no else we're just nothing Alrighty, so what you want to do over here is, um, so if that is true, local clone, local clone GUI is equals to, and we forgot something, over here we want to type local winner GUI, winner GUI is equals to game.surfacestorage dot winner GUI, uh, nope, dot name tags, dot winner GUI, uh, yep, just like this. Now over here we can do a local clone GUI is equals to winner winner GUI colon clone and we can do clone GUI dot parent is equals to game dot workspace colon wait for child player dot name yep we can just do player dot name dot head already so this is going to be pretty much working, but we forgot one thing. And that is a leaving function, because if we leave, we want to save it. It's very simple, game.players, the player removing, colon, connect, function, player, uh, local success, comma, error message is equal to pcal function. And then data is equals to, nope, that's very wrong. Keep data, colon, set async, player.user ID, dot dot, has one value, on the player dot has one value dot value. That's it. I'm just gonna do one thing more. If it's a success, we're gonna do nothing, but if it's not, we're gonna warn our game with an error message. And you're pretty much done. I'm gonna make one more part. I'm just gonna use this part for the test part. I'm gonna put it right over here with, along with a spawn location. I'm gonna add in a script. Script the parent the touched colon connect function connect function uh, hit if hit the parent colon find first child humanoid. So if a humanoid touched the part then hit uh, local player is equals to hit uh, I mean game the player is colon get player from character hit the parent player dot uh, wait the one player that has one value that value is equal to true print has one value is set to true for dot dot player dot name there we go pretty much done so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna publish my game. Boom. And um, we're gonna be testing this right now. 
So right now I'm on my game page. I'm going to refresh for a quick second. I'm going to play my game. Boom. I'm going to wait. And I realized I did not ink on my part, but okay. So if we do this, I'm going to touch the part. There we go. Has one value set to true. I did not add a debound, sadly, but that's not... But it doesn't matter. Uh, what we're going to be doing is leave the game. F5. Play the game. And let's see if we get our name tag. And as you can see, because it's set to true, we have a winner's tag above our name, if you can see. We got a winner's tag above our name because we just won the game. So if you're at the end of your game, make this part, which I just made. And um, you'll get this exclusive name tag. If you want, you can do uh, studs offset 3 instead of 2 because now it's a bit in my character. Oh, there you go. Now you can see it good. So this was a quick tutorial. This was suggested by one of my fans, but okay. So if you did enjoy, do not forget to like and subscribe because you will be very epic. Like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out and goodbye.